What is going on, you guys? It's your guys, Senpai Rai, and I have a very... Ooh. Yes, it is a very important video, Griselda. Everybody, there are officially two days left on this grind, and I have had a lot of different people ask me how I level my battle cards no. and units so quickly. Well, I take full advantage of no. events like this. So... I could have kept this information to myself, but I'll put it to you like this. If you're a subscriber, chances are you're going to hit this video before the two days are up. Now, check this out. And this is for you guys. I do this out of love. Go to the battle card street option dungeon. Or it's rotating. This week it's street option because this is why. In two days, this ends in two days. I repeat, you will have an increase in item gain in this weekly battle card dungeon. Very important, because since the update, they have added an additional three tiers. Let me show you. Okay, it used to end on tier five, but now we also have tier six and tier seven right here, and this is is what has changed for this event now of course you get the tier four cards which are nice but check this out you get the tier four the tier five and now the tier six cards these cards right here they are amazing now in this video i will attempt to acquire one but the one you really want obviously is the set card because after a while, you will see that the option and the battle cards are relatively easy, but the set cards are the ones that you need. And right now, they have a drop right up to where you get at least 50% more of an item, but also check this out. Also, for the secondary battle card slot, if you do not have a character's battle card, you can equip this. And remember this, you get about 150 CP, 146 to be exact, but that'll play into something later. Also, they have new five-star set cards that offer different various, well, stat bonuses, as you guys see. And they differ between each set card and offer different bonuses, as you guys see here. This is just some of the new information. These aren't very relevant because, obviously, mm, eventually you're going to get much better set cards. I just want you to know that those exist. And of course, you can possibly pull a whole bunch of other five-star cards, but here, check this out. They have even more different types of set cards. Now, check this out. Each one offers a different stat, and here you can actually get a 60% bleed bonus which is kind of nice, but here, one has HP, one has defense, and another one has HP. So you get two HP buffs and a defense buff. Now, let's check something else right here. You still get the 60% increase in burn, but it's to balance type fighters. Oh, kind of interesting. Well, these are seemingly extremely situational, kind of reminiscent of some of the imprint stone effects. Moving on. Let's see what else we can get now. Check this out. Okay, the four-star battle card replacements are kind of common, but they also offer the five-star ones. And with 224 CP, that is similar to what the actual battle card boost is. So if you pull one of these, it can actually be a nice elemental replacement for a battle card. So if you get the five-star ones, you can evolve them in a six star after you level them and they are magic but also as you see this hasn't really changed very much you can get any of the new characters battle cards but you can also get six star option cards right now as you guys see including very very new ones like k dash for instance this option card is magic i am thinking about going back into the banner just for this one because it offers attack plus 
cool down. Very, very good card. And as you see, we have the Fest cards. And earlier today when I pretended to be, or I did the Caius pull video in the Demon Voice and I pulled a third set and all I needed was the second set to fulfill my two full sets of the Unidentified Observer. But you get the picture. There is a lot to be obtained from doing this, as you guys see. But also, we're going to rewind a little bit to Tier 5 to see if the rewards differ at all. And I thought that they would, personally, but it appears that it's all the same. Now, I wish that they would give us some kind of hardcore numerical values on what the actual drop rates are, because as many times as I've grinded, well, the highest tiers that these dungeons had to offer until recently... The uh, I got the most I've ever gotten was two off brand five star set cards. I think the one with um Yuri, Mr. Karate, and Rio, and some other nonsensical card I'll never use. But also, check this out they have specific rules, yes, they do, just like when you're fighting the elemental dungeons where it's a three percent per one percent lacking CP. But they also give you a gain where if you have an Awakened Level 1 or more fighter, you get an increased damage dealt by 20%. So, very important. We have Griselda right now. And Bucky Buck, she is at a little bit over 41,000 CP. Yes, she is a monster and a half. What can I say? She brings the devil out in us all. Now, we're going to just equip a random set. Throw on both of her battle cards and also you see you have a slew of the four star purple battle cards and i have one even leveled up to five star but again ideally you'll want the ones that start at five star the rare ones so without further delay let's see what this mission is all about and also you see that i have not cleared it yet so this is kind of exciting for me too let's find out about it right now Oh, don't y'all just love the load screen? But yeah, you guys, I'm putting this, I'm rushing this video out because again, remember, I will keep saying it, there are about two days left for the upgrades on this grind. Now, you will want to take advantage of this, especially if you are invested with at least time into this game. Now, let's just have a little bit of fun. Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to mess with. Ah, uh, Griselda, jeez, okay. As built as you are, they were not dead from that few little... Okay. I'll play games. Now, interesting on geese. You saw that chain lightning three-tier traditional attack I used just now. Well, whenever you're fighting this girl in PvP, just remember that the aftershock effect goes the whole length of the stage. So... Pop wings get away from it. I don't know if you can roll through it, but it is an interesting... It very interesting attack just because it has a preliminary dark energy wave and then it sends that aftershock and it catches people off guard. Jesus, okay. These ads are actually kind of built because Lady Geese is not a weak character. <laughs> ah, dot damage is real. Let's give Maxima a chance to shine. And you see how it's blue right now. Each color indicates the rarity of the potential drop at the end of the mission when you complete it. Just how in the old stages, every now and then you'd see... I'm, this might sound strange if you haven't seen it, but in KOF All-Star, they every now and then have these little gnomes with like a backpack on, like we're playing effing Golden Axe from back in the day. And if you kill them and then beat the stage, you get Buku bonus items. But, yeah, the uh, rarity rate goes from blue, as you guys see whenever I started this stage, to yellow, which is intermediate, to red, to rainbow and if you get rainbow then it's just you're probably gonna fight a bunch of i don't know in some stages it is the little fat dolls that look like the little russian dolls where every time you crack one open they have one that's just a little bit smaller on the inside until it is about the size of a peanut but that is uh the way it okay caught another blue can't show any other types of examples, but I'm sure that if you run this mission, you will very quickly see what I am talking about. Now, who's the unlucky bastard? 
Ah, Jorge. <laughs> Let's roll. Start off with a skill two. One, three. That's a lot of ads, and these ads are kind of built. Let me um build up a five tier real quick and end their world. And of course, this is uh, one of the vacuum super moves, which reel in all the ads into one nice little corner so you can just abuse the hell out of them. And what I like about <laughs> Lady Maxima's super, or whenever you play PvE with Lady Maxima, you can literally, after you pop wings, get crazy amounts of DPS, which helped me so much in RHD. Because she has a core where if she has a combo of at least 10, per, uh, 10 hits or more, every time she uses her pretty much skill 1 or skill 3 to get burn or lightning, it does an additional 60% damage on top of everything she has built up. Let me play... Okay, he boxed me for a second. Having too much fun. It doesn't matter. As long as you complete all the requirements, then you can just auto-clear whatever stage you ended up beating so that is what we're trying to accomplish right now so play bigness do the damn thing combo queen and rotation let's go let it rain right about now <sighs> rising spear and also from the uh kaya's video i pulled my duplicate of her battle card so scratch that one off the list happy about that one three tier to break your armor because ah uh, disrespectful sure why not hyper armor is real i really hope that under 20 hits was not a requirement because he lit me up with a bunch of really fast jabs if anybody noticed let me see if i could end an epic way uh, that might not kill him but it also might <laughs> rising spear Oh, did not get the screen. That would make me seize that if I had epilepsy. So, there you go. Happy to have blinded everybody. So, let's find out how we did. Holy crap. Clear without ta- Of course. I always miss that one. Especially when I'm playing story mode. Let's find- mm. That is a- Those are a lot of cards, you guys. Not mad at that at all. But especially the yellow ones are exactly that. They are gold. So, let me uh, do that again real quick. Hold on. And here we have an ultimate death match between our two competitors. In one corner we have Lady Geese. Who uses her rush? I can't even pronounce that word. But she throws her enemies in the air like a goddamn pizza before she does a Hadouken like motion. And then she constantly throws these pillars of black lightning, which do darkness damage. But also in the left. Oh! Shit. <laughs> Messing around too much, and he caps me with uh, his little flamethrower. Looking like the Orkin Man. <laughs> Your friendly neighborhood bug exterminator. Except it's some kind of a flamethrower contraption. Uh, is it just me or is she saying psycho finish? That's what it. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> okay, well, well, let's just finish this up. Y'all really didn't want to watch me grind through the rest of this, which would have taken like an additional five minutes, because one time. Or right after I cut the last part of the video, I grinded through it, and since Lady Geese has, well, no hyper armor, she does have super armor, but she has this one core where if she's hit, she's immune to damage for 3 seconds, and it resets every um, 15 seconds, I believe. Let me finish up. Hold on. There we go. Okay. I whiffed Lady Big's finisher. I don't use actives, but... Ha. Ah. I don't think it was a waste of time, Griselda. Now, bless me with one of the new six-star card building options. Oh, no luck to be had. But the object of this video at this point, everybody, Jay Hero. Why haven't you accepted my friend request yet, man? Uh, if uh, I don't s accept people's friend request right away, people think I spite them. I'm not trying to do that. I just have a lot going on. But again, the object of this, with the updates, you want these cards, especially anything that has to do with set cards. Because 
this is a get it like me type of video as a reminder. Now let's switch to our gold gain team. And since we have gotten all the requirements to auto clear this, it really does not matter who you use at that point because uh, you want to auto clear this. Trust me, you want to auto clear this after you beat it on the hardest setting. Now we're doing exactly that and let's see if we caught anything worth a damn. Hmm. Well, that's a lot of four star set and uh, set option and battle card builder upper builder upper cards. Uh, let's reroll that again and see if any luck is to be had. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ah, a whole lot of the four-star battle card replacement cards, as everybody sees. I would not be mad if I caught one of those. That way I could uh, make more content about said subject and actually put them side by side in comparison to an actual battle card. But again, no luck is to be had. So I wish that, uh, like I said earlier, we had a numerical drop right. So let me back out because this is an old gaming trick which absolutely does not work but um if you believe in gaming myths and lucky socks and stuff like that sure why not we backed up we're gonna try it one more time let's find out about it fast word at the bottom because i don't feel like going blind trying to read it while going up and as you see a lot of the four star set builder upper cards now scroll scroll show me something man uh okay okay Huh. Thought I saw. Oh, does anybody else see it? Right here? We caught us one. Now, me being the inquisitive mind that I am, we are actually going to try this on an option card. Let's see if we caught anything else real fast. Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay, we caught us a rare generic card builder. And a six-star old-school option card builder. So, let's go back a screen. Mission accomplished, King. Not only did I get that information out to my beloved subs on something that they should capitalize in, again, in the next two days before this event ends, because I want them to get it like me. And check out my option cards. Like, it's... I do this as a content creator not joking <laughs> trying to look out for you guys is all i could have kept this quiet but i chose not to now let's do an experiment using one of these new cards you can get a card that is untouched up to a little bit past level four the old generic ones get you more than halfway past level two and the four stars get you about halfway through the first level and of course the very common three stars get you a very small fraction of the way, about 10% if I want to guess. Now, one more time. This is how far a single six-star card, sorry, gets you. This is the old-school best cards, about two and a bit over two and a half. The four-star cards, and finally, the three-star cards. So... The verdict is the six star cards are going to be very beneficial, absolutely. But at the same time, you're still hardcore grinding for the yellow ones because the yellow ones are, again, exactly that. They are gold. That's what you're going to need for sets because obviously you have to level up three times as many cards to make them feasible. But this will conclude the new grind so if you guys have liked this information make sure that you like the video which is not this like button right here it is the one on the outside of the screen obviously because you know that i try to look out for you guys as much as possible to strengthen y'all's accounts and again two days remaining for this grind for you get almost half the amount of items and you already see and know that it is an ap heavy grind so, bear that all in mind, everybody. But in the meantime, 
it is about 5 45 in the afternoon and again I, I just rushed this video to get this out to you guys as soon as possible but now i must return to the festivities because again it is all hollows eve so everybody in the whole world if you're celebrating halloween have fun out there but definitely be safe don't do anything i wouldn't do <laughs> and i hope this grind helps strengthen your account